The lights are ready. We know that. Check it out. We've got a live bright look this morning at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, the site of the first game of the 2015 World Series tonight between the Royals and the New York Mets. There's even a local tie to the Fall Classic. North Dakota native Gary Cedarstrom has been named the umpire crew chief for the series. Cedarstrom, a Minot native, is umpire, has been umpiring in the major league since 1989. This will be his third World Series. A very good Tuesday morning, everyone, and thank you so much for waking up with the Valley today. I'm Kyle Bosch. Lisa has the morning off. We're just getting started with nonstop news and weather all the way up to the top of the hour to help you plan your day. And we start with a developing story that we're following for you this morning. We are waiting to hear if a body found in a Minnesota farmer's field yesterday is that of a missing Minnesota teenager. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office has not has confirmed that the remains appear to be of a woman in her late teens or early 20s. Police, however, have not confirmed if they are the remains of 18-year-old Laura Schwendenman, who disappeared nearly two weeks ago. She was last seen at a holiday gas station off Interstate 94 in Alexandria. Investigators have said they do not believe she left that gas station voluntarily. And police have spoken with the man Schwendenman was last seen with, but have not elaborated on what role, if any, he played in her disappearance. Police in northern Minnesota are asking for your help as they try and track down a missing woman. Bemidji police say that Rose Downwind was last seen by family members Monday, October 19th at the Bemidji Target store. If you have any information about Downwind's location, you're asked to call police. A Fargo man is facing terrorizing and assault charges after allegedly threatening people with a gun in West Fargo. Investigators say the incident happened Sunday afternoon in the 1500 block of 14th Avenue East in West Fargo, but the man was gone before officers arrived. Police were able to track him down a short time later and arrested James Samuel at his home in South Fargo. He's now facing charges of terrorizing and aggravated assault. Police say they did recover the gun that was allegedly used in the incident. No shots were fired in the incident. 651 now, that means weather and traffic on the ones. We start with meteorologist Lisa Green and looking at some rain on the radar this morning, Lisa. Yes, with some of us dealing with heavier rain than others. Some places are just fine. We saw a little rain roll through overnight. Things are quieter in many parts of the Southern Valley. A couple of sprinkles down around Wapaton, Breckenridge. But that rain has lifted northward, north of Highway 2, and crossing the international border there. And But off to the west, Jane, or the Jamestown and over toward the Devil's Lake area, that's where we have some scattered heavier rain showers falling. Moving into the Benson, Ramsey County area, and that's going to continue moving to the northeast. And then also western parts of Stutzman County, this whole area moving northeastward. So you're going to need your umbrellas certainly for the morning hours. The rest of us, just some light rain showers and some sprinkles out there right now. 48 degrees in Fargo, 44 in Grand Forks, a mild start to our day. Many places starting off in the low to mid 40s, even some upper 40s for our morning start. And temperatures, our wind speeds rather, are in the 20s, 21 mile per hour gust in. Uh, Thief River Falls and over toward Devils Lake, 25 mile per hour gusts there. Wind generally out of the southeast and will be in the teens to about 30 miles per hour today. Walking you through our hour by hour forecast. Again, rain showers most likely out west. We could still see some sprinkles through the morning hours this morning and temperatures rising into the 50s by this afternoon. Lunchtime into the mid 50s. Scattered again, light rain over toward Devils Lake in our western viewing area, but there could be a couple of pockets here and there where we still get a little light rain today. But many spots, will be on the drier side, a little break between systems, and even some sunshine possible mixed in with those clouds. Temperatures reaching the 50s and even getting close to 60 degrees in a couple of spots for highs for our Tuesday. Later tonight, we may see a chance for some rain push in from the south with our next round of precipitation that will move through. Another system that's a little more intense for Wednesday, bringing us a better chance for some rain in the morning hours. And then perhaps later in the day, switching over to more solid precipitation, maybe a little bit of snow coming up here. Temperatures are going to be pretty mild, some th upper 30s to some mid 40s, so not much for accumulation unless we still have some precipitation hanging around Wednesday night and into early Thursday in northeastern parts of our viewing area. Then maybe a little dusting, something to keep an eye on. This weekend looking good for Halloween, 56 the high with partly cloudy skies and Sunday, 55. Let's check in now with Al for an update on traffic.
Something else to keep an eye on, that's traffic this morning. My goodness, it is really busy out here. Westbound Interstate 94, thick as a brick. I-29 northbound, pretty busy as well. So southbound. By the way, don't forget that I-29 work zone. Uh, the work scale has really scaled back on I-29, as we all know. But uh, they still have that work zone that stretches from northbound from basically the tri-level up to 13th Avenue. You lose a lane there, travel speeds drop down a little bit in that far lane as well. So make sure you're driving extra carefully this morning. By the way, that's Boulevard driving. I was just out there. Holy smokes, lots of stuff going on out there. It's a busy morning. Drive carefully. Al Ahmed Valley today traffic. 654 now. Well, this weekend, of course, going to be full of kids and adults in costumes, parties, and lots of Halloween candy. But just because it's Halloween, yeah, you can still enjoy some treats, but don't have to totally bust your diet. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is live this morning at Family Wellness in South Fargo with more on ways to, you know, maybe trick yourself a little bit and enjoy some tasty, healthier treats this Halloween. Christy? Good morning. That's right. You know, you can trick those kids just a little bit on Halloween. It's okay. But making things like our candy corn veggie tray or maybe even some fruit kebabs for kids to enjoy with is a couple of those ways to sneak in some of those healthy foods. And another important thing, Kelsey, is for parents to give those kids a well-balanced meal before they go out so they don't snack on candy the whole night. Right. Making sure that they have a good supper before they go out trick-or-treating. They're going to be super excited to go, so it's going to be hard to get them to sit down. But offering something like chili, trying to squeeze in some fruits and vegetables if you can, mm -hmm. um, but just making sure that they have enough energy to last them the whole night. I was going to say, they need that energy to run around and collect all that candy. And another thing is, too, after they collect all that candy, the next few days, it's kind of like, what do you do with it all? You don't have to eat it all right away. You don't. <laughs> right. Be a little lenient on Halloween. You know, let them have a little bit more candy than normal. Um, but have them pick out their favorite candy. Maybe freeze the ones that they don't really like or give it to your coworkers or donate it if you, if you can, too. And we talked a little bit about safety earlier this morning. You know, if you're going in a big group of kids, make sure there's enough parents for them as well. And Kelsey's going to be my arm model. Make sure if you have some kids going out, look at these snap bracelets, some reflective things for your kids to wear so cars can see them out too. We're going to be putting up these videos and tips up online on valleynewslive.com. And Kyle, if you can see in here, um, I think we ate all the Reese's, so I'm sorry. I'm not surprised. There might be some at the bottom. Oh, there better be some at the bottom, Christy. Christy Larson reporting live. Ways to have fun, safe, safe, and a healthy Halloween as well. Thanks, Christy. Well, you've got a little more than a day if you want to email in an opinion to the Minnesota DNR about its environmental report on the proposed FM flood diversion. The draft version of that report was released earlier this year, and DNR officials have held several public meetings about it, including one in Moorhead this month. You've got until 4.30 tomorrow to email the DNR your thoughts and their findings. We have the report and their contact information posted at valleynewslive.com. Just click on this story. A Fargo woman has been officially charged with kidnapping her own child. Emily Wollen is accused of taking three-year-old Andrew Wollen without the permission of the custodial parent on Saturday night. That event prompted Fargo police to issue an Amber Alert. Moorhead police ended up finding the child unharmed after making a traffic stop. They used cell phone data to track down Wollen. A Bismarck woman has been arrested for child neglect after allegedly pushing an eight-year-old boy into a wall at a Bismarck restaurant. Witnesses say that Barbara Charbonneau was also yelling and physically abusive to the child. Charbonneau has been ordered not to have any contact with the child. A Minnesota lawmaker wants to add another layer of protection for people who play those online daily fantasy games on sites like DraftKings and FanDuel. Chances are you have seen the commercials. Representative Joe Atkins of Invergrove Heights says he doesn't want to ban daily fantasy, but does want background checks and audits of the companies that do it. A federal ruling years ago said that daily fantasy sports leagues are legal because they're games of skill. The same ruling, though, also allows states to adopt more strict rules about the games if they choose. Iowa, Nevada, Arizona, Washington, and Louisiana have banned daily fantasy games. Well, it was a tough night for fans of Blind Joe, though he certainly has a lot to be proud of. His run on the NBC hit show The Voice came to an end last night when he was uh, not selected in the knockout round. Joe sang Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys by Waylon Jennings and Willie Lawson, but lost out to fellow Team Blake member Barrett Barber. Blind Joe has been a fan favorite, even a Rihanna favorite. If you didn't get to see the show last night, Rihanna 
had some great comments to say about Blind Joe. He turned all four chairs during the blind auditions, made it through the battle rounds before losing out last night. Just a great run, though, for Blind Joe and such an inspiring story. I'm guessing this will not be the last that we see or hear of him. Good for you. All right, let's get our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. 35% of men tried to hide this from their mother. Not a lot of people getting it this morning. The answer, buying a sports car. I guess mm. it's pretty easy to hide until you show up in it at your mom's house, or maybe you just right. never drive it over there or don't allow her in your garage. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to join our uh, conversation, you can always head to our Valley News Live Facebook page. Of course, we have a lot, of, a lot of fun on there every morning with our question of the morning. And uh, I know that you have uh, some weather that you're kind of tracking this morning. Yeah, we have the rain showers that are moving through the valley this morning, especially out west toward Devil's Lake. You might be stuck under the showers pretty much all day today. Some of us will get some sun. It's going to be breezy today. Wednesday into Thursday, another system rolls in. This one more windy. And in addition to that, more <laughs> rain and perhaps Maybe. The snow. Stay tuned. Ugh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. I suppose it was only a matter of time. <laughs> more local news and weather is coming up in 25 minutes. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning.